Hey everyone, it's Dr. Cam joining you again for a little educational video. There's five basic effects that happen when your testosterone is lowered and your estradiol is higher. The first is well, there's an energy epidemic that's happening. A lot of guys, even young, otherwise healthy males are walking around very tired and unmotivated. And when your testosterone is affected, that can be one of the contributing factors to that. In fact, one of the major benefits that people find once they optimize their testosterone is they develop a sense of calm energy and determination motivation. The best way of describing it is testosterone makes effort feel good. And obviously, if you're gonna do anything worthwhile in life, you gotta do hard things. And hard things obviously don't always feel comfortable, but if you have high testosterone, it doesn't seem like a burden, it seems like a challenge. And so that's the first benefit, and I would say actually for the majority of people, the increase in calm energy, it's not a caffeinated, stimulated Adderall kind of energy that makes you feel wonky or crash afterwards. It's a calm, sort of strong male energy that makes you want to achieve great things. The second thing, the kind of signs and symptoms of unoptimal testosterone is a low libido, sex drive, and erectile dysfunction, or ED. Testosterone obviously is very commonly associated with sexual function, with virility. And so when your testosterone levels improve, so does sexual function. In fact, the class of medications that we use as part of the Maximus King protocol, 75% of the time in published research, it improves sexual function as well. One interesting note, they function differently than ED drugs. ED drugs basically just increase the vasodilation or uh, the width of your blood vessels. So you get more blood flow and obviously your ability to get hard. But testosterone increases desire, the libido, and ED drugs like Viagra and Cialis don't do that. All they do is uh, make the plumbing work better. But in terms of your actual drive, that does come from testosterone and obviously psychological factors as well. The third thing is distraction and brain fog. Now, obviously a big contributing reason for that is the advent of highly addictive technology, social media, pornography, gaming, which makes many men very distracted and you know, overstimulated. And that overstimulation can create sort of this non-clinical syndrome, but a lot of people call it brain fog where they're just feeling a little hazy, impairments in short-term memory, and just that lack of clarity and focus that people have when they're not distracted. And one of the benefits of testosterone is it does have a neurological effects in that when people have optimal testosterone, they typically report that they have better focus and better mental clarity. So if you're not feeling as mentally sharp as you used to do, you could potentially benefit from higher testosterone levels. Fourth, the mood impact in this generation is tremendous in that many men are feeling very stressed and very down. Now, obviously, if you have clinical levels of anxiety or depression, you should get proper psychological treatment. Obviously, an evidence-based psychotherapy, I would always argue as a psychologist, is the first line approach. But if there's something else that's going on, you're like, you know what? I, th I think pretty rationally, you know, I do all my self-care, my life is otherwise pretty good, but I'm still just kind of feeling that extra level of stress and I'm feeling down. When people uh, optimize their testosterone levels, they typically report feeling a greater degree of confidence and also optimism and positivity. Like I said, it makes hard things feel good. And so a lot of people actually, when we found in our patient population, improvements in depressive and anxious related symptomatology. Uh, so people get quite a mood boost when their testosterone is higher. Last but not least, if you are noticing that you have gained extra body fat, and who hasn't during the pandemic, but in general, if you have more body fat than you should, average male, I think 15% is a good, good target, somewhere between 10 and 15%. Best uh, visual cue if you don't have a body fat analyzer is, do you see visible abs in the mirror, right? If you do, you're probably in good territory. If you don't, you probably have a little bit of work to do. The other telltale sign is a lot of people report they actually do go to the gym, they work out, but they're just not making progress anymore. They're not getting stronger, they're not gaining muscle, and they're getting a little frustrated because they're like, why am I doing all this work to look and perform the same? When you increase your testosterone levels, the studies show statistically significant improvements in lean body mass, meaning putting on weight without putting on body fat. And so you're seeing an improvement. And so people in typically can put on about like five pounds, even in 12 weeks on higher doses of the compound that we use in clinical research studies, and also statistically significant improvements in sports performance. So if you do compete in a sport, even if it's in an amateur league, you typically will find performance benefits. And we know that because if you are 
subject to WADA, which is the World Anti-Doping Association, meaning that you're a professional athlete or Olympic athlete, you actually cannot be on the Maximus King protocol because it is a performance enhancing drug. Fortunately, that doesn't apply to most of you out there, but if you are not in a drug tested sort of league, it will increase your testosterone, it'll increase your sports performance. So it really is, quite frankly, a competitive advantage, but one that you can obviously do safely under doctor supervision. So those are the five key benefits of testosterone, calm energy and determination, increased sex drive and virility, improvements in focus and mental clarity, increased confidence and optimism, and increases in lean body mass and sports performance. So if you've ever wondered, well, why should I increase my testosterone? Hopefully this is a really good primer that explains all the benefits.